you want to set communication features or modify the device's hardware, this editor is exactly the right one to do so. Here we see a representation of the device rear and front view. The rear view of the base module shows us the communication modules which were selected beforehand and which are defined via the product code we entered when adding this device configuration. Which protocols are running on the communications modules is not fixed during the ordering process, but is flexibly defined in Dixie 5. This gives you the freedom to change the protocol running on a certain communications module whenever you require it. You can keep the module and just change the protocol selection in Dixie 5 Suppose the new protocol is of the same type. A serial protocol can be replaced by another serial protocol and an Ethernet protocol by another Ethernet protocol. Every base module has two slots for possible plug-in modules and comes along already equipped with one Ethernet port, the port J, which you can use for instance to access the device with Dixie 5. In our example, all devices should communicate via IC61850 protocol in a ring structure using RSTP as we see it here on this graphic. As a substation automation system, we use a SICAM PAS, which we integrate in the communications network via two switches. Back to Dixie 5, we mark the plug-in Ethernet module on port E. At the properties Ethernet addresses, we define the IP address of the device, whereas at channel 1 settings, communication protocols, we select the IC61850 protocol. The configuration of the communication structure for this protocol is done in a separate editor, the station configurator, so that we do not have to enter any setting here at this place. If you need to add network services such as SNTP time server, activate them just with one mouse click. After this, you have immediate access to the associated settings. In the middle block, you have the choice to select various communications topologies like a redundant point-to-point -point connection, line mode, or RSTP, the Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol. Using the built-in switch functionality of our communications modules, allowing to connect up to 40 devices in one communications ring. Or one of the seamless redundancy protocols, PRP and HSR. We are gonna use RSTP. If you need to replace a module by another type, at any time during the life cycle of the device, this is no problem at all. Just delete the module and insert a new one from the library, as you can see it here with the serial modules. But that's not all you can do with the hardware editor. If you want to extend an existing configuration for an existing device, here is all you need. Beside the base module, you can add up to four expansion modules in any sequence you like. And for each expansion module, you can define which type of front panel you should have. You just need to drag and drop the modules from the hardware catalog on the right hand side. For example, adding this IO205 module and adding a front panel with LEDs. If you are not completely familiar with the module types, Dixie 5 gives you a short description of each module in the information window below. If the four expansion modules in one row are not sufficient, then it's no problem at all. The hardware editor provides a field defining the modules in the second row. Here up to five additional modules plus the power supply for the second row can be added. Marking the complete rear device, you see at one glance the coordinates of the device's terminals like voltage inputs, binary in and outputs. But that's not all. 
Next to the terminal coordinates you can add information. For example, document the assignment to the terminal in the cubicle and or describe the signal which is connected to the contact or binary input. In this way everyone can check the wiring of the device quickly and without looking into the wiring plans.